So if you take a step outside, you'll notice it feels a lot different tonight than it did last night. In mm -hmm. fact, Peyton, I was going to go get my groceries earlier and that little walk you do in the parking lot between your car and the groceries. I'm pretty sure I lost 10 pounds of sweat just on the <laughs> way. And that's how it's going to be all week, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I feel like that's probably the case for a lot of us if you're walking outside. And unfortunately, there's a lot of things going on. UK starts classes tomorrow. And unfortunately, summertime just doesn't want to give up just yet. So we are talking about really some dangerous heat if you're out in it for too long. It's a reminder, summer's not over just yet. All right, let's take a look at the home view across the area right now from Lexington to Paris. Back towards Somerset and London. No problems out there on the area. Cameras, mostly clear skies and plenty of, uh, well, it's still pretty warm and even a little muggy out there as we speak. Temperatures right now, still 81 degrees here in Lexington. So that should tell you it's already almost 1030 in the next little bit and we're already at, still only at, at 81 degrees 77 down in Richmond 79 Jackson. It's slightly cooler once you go down into portions of the mountains from hazard back towards Harland. It's in the lower 70s. These are the areas that will likely get down into the upper and even mid 60s overnight tonight. So lows tonight as far as that goes again 69 is the forecast low for Lexington. A lot of us just right around 70 or just below that in the upper 60s. But again out in eastern Kentucky could get down into the mid 60s. Those areas are a little bit cooler this evening already as temperatures have fallen fairly quickly. But the big story is again the heat satellite and radar. You can see there's no weather systems really to talk about as far as precipitation goes. We got a few uh, fair weather cumulus clouds if that off to the West, but those have pretty much fizzled out as well, and there's not much to talk about except the mostly clear skies and the heat, of course. So that's what we're tracking as the next big thing. You can see this dome of hot high pressure here pretty much stays with us all week before next weekend more seasonable air begins to work in here, and it cools back off uh, greatly for us by the time we get into Saturday and especially into next Sunday. Highs this week, though, in the 90s. It'll feel like 100 plus at times, and then again, the heat will break down by the weekend. Again. Here's the high temperatures over the next seven days. You can see the average high is 86 degrees for this time of year. Tomorrow we're going to make it up to around 94. We're pretty much in the mid 90s. 96 though Thursday and Friday before we finally get some of that relief. The other story with this is the muggy air. The good news is it looks like most of the week we're not going to be in that oppressive category, which would make the heat index much higher, but we are going to be pretty muggy and that's going to stay steady pretty much all week. And then even the humidity will drop off as we head into next Sunday with those cooler temperatures. So that is some good news. The humidity isn't as high as it could be. Uh, we want to point out some heat exhaustion safety tips again because uh, we're not used to several 90 degree days, especially in the mid some areas, maybe even upper 90. So make sure you drink plenty of water and stay hydrated, reduce activity outside, find shade and air conditioning. If you can wear lightweight and light colored clothing. And then as always, just a reminder, never leave kids or pets in your car. They heat up very quickly, especially in conditions like this. As always, to get the latest weather information, you can download the weather authority app by scanning the QR code on your screen, get personalized alerts for you and wherever you are. Your seven day forecast looks like this. Again, the big story to this whole week is just the heat. We're in the 90s almost every day. We're really tacking on to those 90 degree days this summer and really no rain chances until finally maybe a shower or two next Saturday. But even that right now looks like it's a stretch and then it feels much more pleasant by the time we get to the second half of next weekend. High temperature only around 80 degrees and that humidity falls off as well. Bodie and Michael.